What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We are in the backyard right now. The sun is setting and Maverick is playing fetch. Maverick, you want this? You want this? There you go boy, go get it. Now that we've gotten rid of him, guys, tonight we have a special mission. I actually have never caught this species of fish before and we are on the hunt for a fish that walks on land. Sean and I, the new videographer, are going fishing for the snakehead. And down here in South Florida, the snakehead is a highly invasive fish, similar to the big pythons that we catch and similar to a lot of the different animals that we go after here in South Florida. So, with that being said, I'm gonna keep playing fetch with Maverick till the sun goes down and then we will be heading out to go fishing. And here we are. It's only like 6.30. This time change is so messed up, but it's actually kind of nice because uh, it's a little bit earlier than expected and it's dark, which means these fish are hungry. Let's get the rods and head over to the canal. We can see all the way down this canal right now and we're looking for these fish kind of hanging out, hunting on the banks of this canal. We're actually walking this canal bank and look at what we found right here guys we have found a chewed on iguana now i don't know what happened to this little guy right here but if i had to guess there's only a few things that could take down a little iguana like this and the snakehead is one of them both invasive species both not from here he's from south america the snakehead fish is from asia this little guy probably ended up like this because of the voracious snakehead. Now, tonight, what I really want to do is catch one of these fish on fly. I've never tried fishing for these guys before, so this will be my first time catching one on fly, and then their favorite thing to eat are frogs and toads. So to catch one on a toad would be crazy, and that is what we are after. Let's see if we can find one. got our first snakehead and not only that we caught him on fly look at that here you go little ripper on the gurgler fly this is the fish that we are after I'll turn my headlight off here you can see why they call it the bullseye snakehead he's got this big spot back here just like a bullseye and this long snake like body this is just a little one though I hope we could catch a bigger one. I think now that I got my first one and on fly, we're gonna switch to the lizard lure and see what happens. We have a monster right here. You got him, got him, got him. Woo. Bring him up, bring him up, real, real, real Look tight, real that. tight, real tight. We got him. We've gotta get him up here on land. Oh. We finally got him. <laughs> we need the frog. <laughs> Hold on, let's turn off the light here. That was insane. I'm not sure how the footage looked. Look at this, guys. He totally crushed the frog lure. And this, oh, he's a lot bigger than the little guy that we just caught, but this is not even the full capacity. Oh, turn off the light there, Sean. This is my second snake head ever, guys. And look at the way he has inhaled this frog lure. That is so crazy. We drug the frog lure right over his head and whack, he exploded on it, which is why I want to try the toad next. But look, you have the same exact body structure of the little one. They don't change much as they get bigger. They just become this massive version. And this is still kind of a little guy. And maybe get him like two pounds, something like that. I don't really know but he is just a gorgeous fish. 
and they really are born in a tough situation down here. The story with these guys is that they escaped from somebody's place after or during Hurricane Andrew, got into the waterways here in Florida. After that, they took off like wildfire, just as a lot of other species do, and that's why Florida is kind of this cesspool of invasive species that really don't belong here, and it's really sad that they're put into this situation because now they're eating all of our native wildlife and these guys really need to be removed. So I think we're gonna take this guy with us and you guys are gonna have to find out what we do with him in the next video. He actually is gonna have to be euthanized, but let's try to find a bufo toad to hunt our next snakehead. What are you doing in here? Somebody let you go? Somebody let you go in here. You don't belong in here. Nice. Got him. There you go. Got him. There you go. No, 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 no. He's walking in. <laughs> With the dive. Look at that. Oh, that's a pretty one. Oh, 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 oh. Dab on him. Dab on him. Oh, oh he got him. <laughs> I don't know if you guys caught it earlier, Sean's back on the camera now, but what I wanted to show you with his fish was that these guys can actually walk on the land. They'll squirm and just work their way to different bodies of water, and that is partially, probably the biggest part of how they have spread down here so quickly because usually a landlocked lake would keep a population all to itself, but then when they can just slither across the land, just like this. Now I'm pushing it with my hand, but that's exactly how he would do it. He would use his fins, almost like little feet, and walk to the next canal. All it takes is two or one pregnant female, and you have a whole nother population. We got a little guy right here. Guys, look at this. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, little guy. Come here, little buddy. We have found a little toad. Oh, there he goes. Oh, come here, spider. Oh. There's a spider, hey little spider. Oh, boop, 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 boop. We have found a little toad. So we're actually back out. It is our second night of fishing. Yesterday went pretty good as you guys saw, but we didn't see any toads out here. I'm trying to prove a theory that toads are being eaten by these invasive snakeheads. And uh, this little guy right here isn't the invasive bufo toad that we have. He keeps jumping out of my hands. Oh, <laughs> this is a native southern toad, so he's gonna go back on his way because he belongs here. He's supposed to eat the bugs around here, but maybe we can find a bufo toad and see if these snakeheads want to munch on it. Oh man, we found our first toad and he must have just gotten whacked by a car. Look at the poison glands coming out right here, guys. That is the bufo toad that we all know, and he has sadly not made it. There's a lot of traffic tonight. There's actually a car coming this way right now, but this guy will still make a good bait tonight. Sadly, he was out here on the road. He's probably away from the canals because those fish are after him, but I'm trying to see if that is the case. Let's find out. Just had to take the shoes off real quick. Look at the picture of this turtle we just caught. If you wanna see the video of how we caught it and getting all down in the water, follow me on TikTok and Instagram right here. Got him, got him, we ate it. Oh man, we had him on the toad. got him on the toad. Look at that. He hit. This isn't even that big of one. This isn't even that big of a monster and that's a huge toad. Look at the toad he crunched. <laughs> we got one on the toxic cane toad. Oh, we got the hook in here. <sighs> that was an adrenaline rush, guys. Look at this beautiful guy. Looks about a little lighter color maybe than the other ones. I don't know, from last night. Oh, 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 oh. 
look at this. We caught this snakehead on the toad clearly. These toads are being taken down by these invasive snakeheads. So invasive bufo toads, which are highly toxic, highly poisonous. These guys, these invasive snakeheads are taking them down. So they're kind of doing a good job by taking care of those because these are also a big invasive problem down here. These are two of the worst invasive species we have in South Florida. Maybe not as bad as the Burmese python, but they are up there. We have got what we've come here for, guys. I think we've caught enough of these fish. Now, if you guys wanna stay tuned for part two at the zoo, where we're gonna be feeding the lion pride, stay tuned for that. If you did enjoy this video, please like it. It helps me out a lot. It really helps support the channel. Subscribe if you wanna see more videos and stay tuned for this next episode. And I will see you guys. Oh, hit that notification icon so you guys will be notified whenever I post. And I will see you guys when we return. Peace.